Have you ever started to research a dream trip and then you blink and it's an hour later, you have 36 tabs open and you're no closer to an itinerary as when you started? I have been there too. But Google Maps has a tool that not enough people talk about. And when I found out about it, it changed the way that I plan my trips forever. Let's go over to the computer to see Google My Maps and I'll show you exactly how I use it to plan my trips with less stress. So to find My Maps, just go to Google and search My Maps. It'll be the first option that you see. It'll bring you to this page and you'll see I have a couple maps created right now. This is a map that I made for a trip to Japan in October of 2023. I have a layer for hotels, restaurants, indoor activities, and outdoor activities. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to set this all up. We start at our dashboard and we hit create a new map. We start with an untitled map that looks just like Google Maps would. I'm gonna plan a trip to Sapporo because I really want to see the snow festival. So I'll save it. Let's head on over to Japan and zoom in on Sapporo. First thing you can do is edit a layer. And these layers are how we're gonna get the different icons onto our map that show what each thing is. First, we're gonna need a place to stay. So I'm gonna call this one hotels. I already know that there's a hotel chain called APA or APA. So we're gonna search for this one. Cool. So we found a hotel that's an option. Let's add it to the map. Now you'll see this little paint thing here. It says individual styles right now. Go ahead and click uniform style if you want every icon in that layer to have the same icon. And since these are all gonna be hotels, that's exactly what I want. So to change what it looks like, we're gonna hit this little paint bucket that shows up next to all items. And I'm gonna do this little bed icon and I'll make it purple. Now, when I zoom out, I can see I found a hotel in this little area. I also want to add some activities. To add another layer, just click Add Layer. I'm going to name this one Outdoor Activities. While I'm at it, I'm also going to create layers for other kinds of activities, like indoor, shopping, and things to eat. Now we need to add an item to each of these layers so we can customize what it looks like. So just for fun, let's click on Historical Village of Hokkaido and add it to the map. So it looks like Historical Village of Hokkaido got added to my Eats layer. That's because it was highlighted when I clicked on it. But no worries, I can just drag it up to Outdoor Activities. And now that I have an item in this layer, again, I can change the style to be uniform for the layer. And let's change Outdoor Activities to yellow to be like sunshine and there are plenty of icons to choose from so if you wanted to make a layer just for bars you absolutely could once you have your layers all set up it's time to have fun so pull up tiktok on your phone or pinterest or wherever you get your travel ideas and start adding locations to the map when i'm researching a trip I don't really worry about what's going to happen on what day yet i like to gather all of my options in one place and that way I can do activities that are all in the same area of town at the same time. I've only filled in a few options here, but you can start to get the idea. I've started seeing clusters of things that I want to do. There's some over here, only one over here, but most of it's clustered in the center of town. So I probably want a hotel that's in this area or a little bit to the west. That way I spend less time commuting to the things that I want to do. Now that you've collected all of these pieces and ideas of things you might want to do, you can start putting together an itinerary. The way I like to do it is by embedding it into my Notion travel planner. Embedding this map into a Notion board is pretty easy. You just need to come copy the link from the share tab. Make sure that anyone with the link can view. Head to Notion, paste it, and embed the Google map. From there, you can use a pre-built planner or build out your own itinerary however you want. Now that you've planned an epic trip, it's time to save for it. I built an easy to use spending tracker in Google Sheets. You can see how I did it at the video right here. See you over there.